Hi everybody, my name is Miss Brenner and I am going to be your science fiction fantasy course instructor. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying happy and healthy. I know that it's been some time since you've been in school here, either physically or um, if you're doing the hybrid model, it's been a little bit. But we are going to be getting to know each other and starting off this course together. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself and then I'm going to go a little bit about the course in general. So just like you guys in your videos are going to be doing two truths and a lie, these are my two truths and a lie. And I uh, would like to have you guys guess on it a little bit later. And I will tell you guys, if I see you in person, I'll let you guys know in the future. Or if I see you on Zoom, I'll let you know then. All right, so one, I won the Pennsylvania State Spelling Bee in 2008. Two, I have a metal rod built into my spine or three, I used to drive forklift for a ceiling tile factory. So I'll let you guys think about that. As well as, I uh, graduated from Millersville University, so I'm a marauder. And also, over the past three years, I've been working on fixing up my house in Lidditz. So it's been quite a process, tearing out all of the carpet, patching walls, fixing leaky ceilings. You know, it's been quite an undertaking. So I'm pretty proud that I'm happy and living in my own home now. Uh, as well as these are my parents. So just so you know where I come from, this is my mom and my dad. They're quite the characters. As well as our three fur babies, AKA our cats. Uh, now the cats live with my parents, they don't live with me, but this is Stewie, Lenny, and Bert. And they are the biggest, fluffiest lights of my world as of the moment. So that's just a little bit about me. Let's talk a little bit about this course. So in this course, we're going to be reading A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare to launch us off into the high fantasy realm of fiction. We're also going to be covering Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, which is a very famous uh, science fiction piece of literature. We will be working on The House of the Scorpion and several other short stories in this um, uh, sorry, online and in-person course. So. Along with that, we will touch on some literary-based films and media to help support our literary discoveries. As far as assignments, the class materials and assignments will be linked and available on Schoology. So anything that you should need, even if you are able to get physical copies of our books, there will be PDF copies available on the Schoology classroom, as well as audiobook uh, readings, so that way you can listen as you read. So a final exam will be administered at the end of the course. It's worth 15% of the final grade. So over 18 weeks, we will learn several different uh, methods of analyzing literature. So that is what will be used in order to complete the final exam. Now, in this course, the final exam is actually an essay. So it's not your typical kind of test. As far as late work, uh, late work is eligible for half credit up till five school days after the assigned due date. So please keep that in mind. Um, we try to make sure that everything is turned in on time, but if you should fall behind, first of all, make sure that you contact me if you're having issues keeping up with the schedule. I'm pretty flexible. I'm willing to work with you as much as possible. So if you find that you were overwhelmed, please talk to me before letting assignments kind of just drift off. As far as letter grades, they will be assigned in accordance with the MCHS grading policy, and they will be available both on Schoology and on uh, Home Access. So make sure to check Home Access because that's the one that updates and uh, shows the most up-to-date grade as possible. That only updates, though, on weekdays, so please keep that in mind. Please feel free to email me, as said before. Contact me with any questions that you have or any help that you may need. I recommend that you contact me through Schoology or emailing directly to brennrs at manheimcentral.org. Uh, that email is available on our Schoology page in the course content area. It's also in every video that I film. And if you do email me directly to brennrs, make sure that you're using your school email. If you send me an email on your personal email, I won't be able to respond to you. All right. So this would be the time in the video where I'm going to pause for a little bit so that way you can list three expectations that you have for me as your instructor. This would be the time to tell me the best way that you learn 
or reach academic success in your understanding. So think about working in groups. Think about what you enjoy reading. Think about your experiences with literature in the past. Tell me what you expect from me as your instructor so that way I can meet those expectations and help to make your experience in this course as wonderful as possible. I would also like you to list three expectations that you have for yourself and our classmates uh, to work together and collaborate. Maybe you find collaboration best when it's uh, reviewing other people's shared ideas rather than doing group projects. Whichever works best for you, list three expectations that you have for yourself in our class as learners. All right. So as far as class, whether you were taking this class online, in person, or in a hybrid model, we still have to talk about classroom behavior. So if you see me on Zoom walking around with a clipboard, or in person walking around with a clipboard, I am not trying to intimidate you. I am simply trying to document, one, that you're here today, which is awesome, and two, what your behaviors are, so that way we can talk about it in the future. Now, your behavior greatly impacts your success, and therefore I want to document when you do great things and also maybe when you struggle, and maybe the issues as to why you are struggling. So if you see any of these codes, which I'm going to go over in a second, do know that uh, it's just me recording some issues that I'm seeing. So IL stands for inappropriate language, curse words, or just not appropriate language for the classroom, whether it be online or in person. NFD stands for not following directions. HD stands for head down. OOS stands for out of seat. ET stands for excessive talking. P stands for phone. TM stands for throwing materials. WO stands for walking out or leaving the class early which can also happen on Zoom if you choose to leave the Zoom before I excuse you or cancel the session. LTC stands for late for class, which can happen on Zoom as well. Please make sure that you are on time. U stands for unprepared. IUT stands for inappropriate use of technology, such as watching Netflix when you're supposed to be in class. Now, all of those different codes are inappropriate behavior for the classroom, whether it be online, or in person. The only code that's on here that would not affect your behavior is A, which stands for absent. And I just want you to know that's how I marked that somebody was absent. I put an A down. Now, as far as classroom codes, you can get three or more codes in a week. And when that happens, when you get three or more codes in a week, you will end up with a detention or a contact home that we are having some kind of behavioral issues within our classroom. Now, all of those codes are items that I think are easily fixable. So I will tell you when I'm writing down a code. If I see you on Zoom and you are playing around, maybe you're doing Fortnite on your phone, and even though maybe you are having a wonderful time on Fortnite, that is not what you're supposed to be doing. And so I'm going to ask you to put your phone away and that I'm putting a P down on the clipboard. And if I see that happen three times throughout the week, we are going to have to have a conversation. And that's how I handle behavior in the classroom. So, rules and expectations are this. Be on time, be prepared, and be a hardworking and respectful student. It's pretty much the basics. As far as assignments, the majority of our assignments are going to be online. But, if for some reason anything should be on paper, do know that I grade it, I return it to you, and then I ask for that assignment back so that way I can put it in a folder and hold on to it for you in case we should ever have to go back and reflect on any of your assignments. The great part about Schoology is your assignment stays there for the entire semester and we can go back and reflect on it anytime. Entering the classroom. This is a little bit different and for any of my online students, uh, please just hold on for a moment. I'm just going to go over this quickly. This might not impact you, but for several of my students it does. Entering the classroom. Be respectful of the learning environment. Be on time. Use an inside voice, walk, don't run, make sure you have your classroom materials. And this year we are going to have staggered uh, entering and exiting times of classrooms. So make sure that you are lining up, sorry, lining up outside of the classroom and waiting for me to invite you into the classroom because I'm going to have to clean desks and make sure that everything is sanitized and prepared for you before you come in. So just make sure you are spaced out and that you are lined up outside of the classroom. 
As far as Pledge of Allegiance and announcements, you stand respectfully uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then you sit back down in your assigned seat and listen quietly for announcements. So really the takeaway for this is that we are silent. Um, regardless of your feelings about the Pledge of Allegiance, silence is expected because we are listening to announcements to be prepared for the day. So our daily checklist, I've picked up all my materials. I know where all of my Schoology materials are. I'm completely prepared for the week. I've checked the agenda, which is going to be posted every single week. So that way you know exactly what all the assignments are. And then there will also be a video posted Wednesdays um, if needed to give you an update. Maybe something has changed or maybe uh, you need to have something described more. If I get emails with questions, I'll make sure to include those in the Wednesday video that you've silenced your phone, that you are in your assigned seat, and I am ready to learn and have a wonderful day. One last thing, and I'm sorry online learners, this also does not impact you, but fire drill evacuation. If you are a hybrid learner or if you are a brick and mortar learner this year, you need to be prepared for fire drill evacuations, which means that you are going to calmly wait for me as your teacher to gather needed evacuation materials such as my emergency backpack, and clipboard with all of our information on it before we leave the classroom. Then we are going to leave the classroom in a single file line, take, si take a side door out as an exit towards the track and field, and walk calmly towards the track and field and wait for me as your teacher to take attendance to make sure that everybody is there safely. Now this is only for fire drills, obviously it's different for other weather emergencies and other evacuations, which we will go over as those uh, times come. Alrighty guys, so that is all of my information and updates as far as basic classroom rules and regulations and a little bit about me and I cannot wait to learn a little bit more about you. I'm really looking forward to those welcome videos and I can't wait till I get to talk to you guys more whether it's in person, on Zoom, or online. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!